You said in your book, and you confirmed in your evidence uh, to Mr. to the inquiry earlier, that the first you ever heard of the practice of phone hacking was on the 26th of January 2001. Is that correct? Uh, yes, that appears to be the case, judging by the entry in the book, yeah. Uh, you were the editor of the Daily Mirror in August 1998, weren't you? Yes. And you remember, no doubt, Una Blackman, who was one of your editors. Is that correct? Yes. Were you aware, Mr Morgan, that she was contacted by someone in August 1998 with a major new story about how mobile telephones could be hacked? No. The, the story came, we've heard, from someone called Stephen Knott, a Welsh lorry driver. Miss Blackman, when he telephoned her, was very excited about this story and told him it would be one of the biggest headlines that decade. Well, given that decade included events like the death of the Princess of Wales uh, and other major events, I find that incredibly hard to believe. I have to say, I watched his evidence. I've studied this man's website since then, and he seems to me one sandwich short of a picnic. Finally, 12 days later, she came back and said that the newspaper wasn't interested in the story at all. Well, that happens every hour of every day on a daily newspaper. We get offered thousands of stories like this, a lot of them from people like Mr Knott, who are slightly barking. He was very concerned, wasn't he, that you were going to use it at the Mirror for the purposes of obtaining stories about well-known people. Do you remember I he gave that not... evidence? Yeah, I saw bits of it, I didn't see the whole thing. I just think, honestly... This is a complete non-event, as far as I'm concerned. I knew nothing about this. It was never going to be a huge story in the mirror. It never got suppressed for the reasons he is trying to insinuate. I think it's nonsense, the whole thing. The story was entitled Mobile Phone Scandal. Right. Where did it appear? The story never appeared. But yet you right. paid him £100 without him even asking for it several weeks later. And your point? I asked the questions, Mr Morgan. Were you aware of the payment at the time? No. Were you aware of the story at the time? No. Stories about a mobile phone scandal that we know has now caused such an outrage that it has led to the start of this inquiry. I think you are massively self-inflating the importance of this particular character and his almost a psychotically obsessive campaign to make people think this was a catalyst for all this. It had nothing, in my view, from what I've seen of him and his website and his testimony, absolutely nothing to do with him.